Hello everybody, this is Kevin from Edureka and welcome to this video on Data Science Career Path. But before we go any further, let's talk about the agenda first. First up, why data science? Here we'll discuss the reasons why you should pursue a career in data science. Then we'll talk about what are different careers in data science and we'll take a look at things like roles, salaries and skills required for each of those careers. Then we'll give you a skills roadmap so that you can follow that to get to the very top in data science field. Then we can discuss the career path that you can take in terms of time, short, mid and long term. And finally, we'll give you some certifications and resources that are going to be tremendously helpful on your journey to becoming a data scientist. Before we delve into the video any further, please like this video and subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to be notified of all updates from Edureka YouTube channel. Also, data science certification links are going to be in the description, so please be on the lookout for them. Also, this video is timestamped, so you can jump to the section that you are most interested in. All right, let's get started. So first up, why data science? Well, there are several reasons why you should choose data science, and let's take a look at them. Reason number one, high demand for data scientists in all domains. Reason number two, attractive salaries and career growth. Reason number three, less competition and easier job hunting as different domains are still adopting it. Reason number four, increasing volume of data being produced by the world every day. Okay, let's move on to the second section, which is what are the different careers in data science? So they're as follows. Data analyst. A data analyst collects, cleans, interprets data sets in order to answer a question or solve a problem. Data administrator. Data administrator is a person who is responsible for processing data in a convenient data model. The person is in charge of figuring out which data is relevant to be stored in the database. Data administrator is less of a technical role and more of a business role with some technical knowledge. Business intelligence analyst. Business intelligent analyst helps a company put the data it already collects to use in order to increase company's efficiency and maximize profits. They comb through large amounts of data by querying data sets effectively and then produce reports and identify trends to generate actionable business insights. Data Architect The data architect is responsible for visualizing and designing an organization's enterprise data management framework. This framework describes the process used to plan, specify, enable, create, acquire, maintain, use, archive, retrieve, control, and purge data. Data Engineer Data engineers develop the data infrastructure and interfaces necessary to collect data from different sources. They also design the systems used to transform that information into clean data sets that data analysts, data scientists, and others can arrange in ways that leads to meaningful insights for business. Data scientist A data scientist's role combines computer science, statistics, and mathematics. They analyze, process, and model data, then interpret the results to create actionable plan for companies and other organizations. They usually work with and in some places guide data analysts, data engineers, and data architects. Now that you have a bit of an idea of what each of these career paths is about, let's take a look at the salaries of each one of them and skills required. So the first one is data analyst. Data analyst typically makes around 3.7 lakhs in India and around 67,000 US dollars. The skills that are required for a data analyst are as follows. Python or R programming, data visualization using tools like Tableau, Power BI, Microsoft Excel, SQL queries, and statistics. Next up is data administrator. A data administrator typically makes around 7.7 lakhs in India and around $85,000 in the United States. The skills required for a data administrator are as follows. SQL queries, database knowledge and management systems, data wrangling. Next up is business intelligence analyst. The salary for BI analyst is 8.5 lakhs in India and around $90,000 in the United States. Skills required are 
data visualization tools like Tableau, Power BI, data warehousing and data modeling, SQL queries, Python or R programming and statistics, critical thinking and presentation. Next one we have here is data architect. A data architect typically makes around 14.8 lakhs in India and around 121,000 US dollars. The skills required for a data architect are as follows. Databases such as NoSQL, MongoDB and database management system software, big data tools, data mining and modeling tools, programming languages like Python or R, math and statistics. Next one we have is data engineer. A data engineer typically makes around 10.5 lakhs in India and around $125,000 in United States. Skills required are database systems, data warehousing, ETL meaning extract, transform, load, data processing tools, Python R or Scala programming, math and statistics, big data, strategic thinking and problem solving. Last but not the least, we have data scientists. A data scientist makes around 9.1 lakhs in India and $119,000 in US. The skills required are programming language, math and statistics, machine learning models and algorithms, deep learning, big data, data manipulation, analysis and modeling, data visualization, strategic thinking and problem solving. Okay, now that we have seen the different careers, salaries and skills and such, let's take a look at the skills that are going to be required if you want to reach the very top, which is data scientist. All right, let's get into it. So first up, you should know mathematics for data science. So what do I mean when I say mathematics for data science? Well, you should know linear algebra, calculus, probability and statistics. In linear algebra, you should know what a scalar, vector, matrix is and how to perform different operations on each of these. You should know the application of linear algebra in machine learning. Similarly, with calculus, you should know differentiation rules, partial differentiation and application of calculus in machine learning. So you will wonder why we have machine learning math in data science. It's because at the top level, at the level of data scientists, they use machine learning, which helps them with prediction and inference. And obviously for data science, you need to know probability and statistics. In probability in particular, you should know rules of probability, dependent and independent events, implement conditional, marginal and joint probability using Bayes theorem, probability distribution, central limit theorem. In statistics, you should know all the terminologies, numerical parameters like mean, mode, median, sensitivity, entropy, sampling techniques, types of statistics, hypothesis testing, data clustering, testing data, regression modeling. All right, let's move on to the second skill on the roadmap, which is programming skills. So in programming skills, we recommend that you learn either Python or R. But for the purpose of this video, we're just going to emphasize on Python. So in programming skills for Python, you should know file operations, functions, OOPS, which is object oriented programming system, modules, handling exceptions. And you should also know libraries that are essential for data science like NumPy, Pandas, Matplotlib. You should also know SQL a little bit enough to be able to create, read, update, and delete on relational databases. Moving on to the third one, we have data science and machine learning concepts. So in this, there are two separate parts, data science and machine learning. In data science, you should know what is data science, data analysis pipeline, data extraction, types of data, techniques such as data wrangling, exploratory data analysis, data visualization. In machine learning, you should know different types of machine learning models, which are supervised learning, unsupervised learning, reinforcement learning, and you should also know dimensionality reduction, time series analysis, model selection and boosting. And for each of these machine learning models and other concepts, you have many algorithms that you should understand well. Okay, so the fourth stop on the roadmap is deep learning. In deep learning, you should know single layer perceptron, TensorFlow 2.0, convolutional neural network, CNN, regional CNN, 
implement Boltzmann machine and auto encoder, generative adversarial network, emotion and gender detection, RNN and GRU, LSTM. And the fifth skill that we have is big data and tools like PySpark, Hadoop, and so on. So in this big data topic, you should know big data Hadoop and Spark, Apache Spark framework, Spark RDDS, data frames and Spark SQL, machine learning using Spark ML Lib, understanding Apache Kafka and Apache Flume, Apache Spark streaming, processing multiple batches and data sources. Next, and the last one is data visualization using tools like Tableau. So in this, you should know basic visual analytics, advanced visual analytics, calculations using Tableau, level of detail LOD expressions, geographical visualizations, advanced chart, dashboard, and stories. Okay, so here's the recap of the roadmap for skills. And if you master all these skills, there is nobody on this planet Earth that can stop you from becoming a data science wizard. Or in other words, you can get to the top 100%. Let's move on to the next one, which is career path. What goals you might have short term, mid term and long term. This is how most people think. I'm at number one. I have a degree and some experience in the field of IT or related fields. In short term, I want to become a data analyst. So when I say short term, I mean one to five years. And then medium term goal, which is five to 10 years is business analyst or data administrator, which definitely pay better and almost double of what a data analyst makes. And by the end of 10 years or over 10 years, you want to become a data scientist, data engineer or data architect. You do see the problem, right? It's going to take 10 years to get to where you want to be. But by that time, the field might have changed. There might be new tools. And so you want to become a data scientist, data engineer, or data architect right now. But I can give you a better plan. How about a year? Does that sound good? So after your bachelor's and some industry experience, you want to learn the skills that we just talked about. And it's probably going to take you from six to 12 months, depending on how fast you can acquire them. But once you do that, once you follow that skills roadmap that we gave you, that will definitely get you interview ready. And your resume is going to look good with all those projects and skills on it. And you will be able to demonstrate all of that knowledge in the interview. And so a year from now, you could start applying for data scientist and data engineers job. And you could even crack the interview to land your first data scientist and data engineer job. Happy hunting. And before you leave, I want to leave you with a couple of certification and useful resources that will help you immensely on your journey to becoming a data scientist. So here are some of the courses and programs, data scientist master program. No, truly guys, this is one of the best programs of all. Here you're not only gonna learn one programming language, but two programming languages. And there are a total of 12 courses within this master's program. I'm gonna leave the link to this certification down below. You don't need anything else. If you do this master's program, that's it. You're going to be ready for a data scientist, data engineer job. And if you think you have some knowledge and if you just want to pick individual courses from that master's program, you can do that as well. Some of the courses I've mentioned on the screen, Python certification course, data science with Python certification, statistics essential for analytics. Also, I'm happy to report that our master's program alumni are working for amazing companies such as Amazon, Google, Microsoft, Cisco, Dell, KPMG, and many more. You don't have to take our word for it. You can take their success as a testament for efficacy of our master's program. Okay, with that out of the way, I do want to give you some additional resources that can help you with your career path. The first one is obviously our Edureka YouTube channel where we post full length tutorial videos that are hours long and that has amazing content, tutorials and case studies. So please do subscribe to our channel and like this video as well. And I'm going to leave the links to the playlist for data science down in the description. So please check that out as well. Another useful resource is our blog on edureka.co website and we have amazing blogs written by experts in their field that can help you immensely on your journey. And these blogs are not subscription based so you can access them for free and this is a great tool. 
I hope this video was informative for you and I wish you all the best on your journey in data science. Thank you so much. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!